YouTube, what's up? Twin with the Clippers back with another video. In this video, I'm not really doing a tutorial. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the do's and don'ts of cutting new clients. There's rules when you cut new clients, man, because you want them people to come back. Whoever's sitting in your chair, the main goal is you want them to come back, man. So I'm going to start off with rule number one. When you're cutting a new client, ask about every detail in the cut. It's your first time cutting his hair. You know, you you want him to come back. So it's like, what what do you want? How do you want your hair cut? Everything, ask everything. I mean, from the mustache, the beard, before you even touch it, let him look at the mirror. And be like, here, this is what you want. show me what you want. Is this how you want it? Is this how you want it? Before you even touch the hair with the clippers at all, let them explain every detail, everything. And you ask every question. You sure you want it this high? You want it low like this? Ask, you got to ask that question, man. It's a new client. And it, I've seen some barbers, they feel like they cut the client's hair to how they feel. Like, no, nah, you, nah, you look way better with a low fade than a taper. But, man, you got to get a client what they want. If that client asks for something, you got to give it to them. You got to give them what they want. Like what I said, man, it's a new client. We, we got to get him in the box. We got to add him to the arsenal, man. That's the goal. Another do, man. Be respectful. When you got that new client in your chair, you want him to you want to be respectful, man. Ask him, hey, how was how was your day? How you, how you been doing? You know, don't cuss. Just just you know, cut his hair, keep it clean, keep it smooth. You ain't gonna really have to talk a lot to him. You can, but the main thing you want to be respectful. So say hey, sir, say yes sir. You know, be polite. Because you want them to get that feel. Because being respectful takes a long way. Respect takes you a long way. Another do. Man, stay off their phone. <laughs> That's the hardest thing what most barbers won't do. Stay off their phone. You cut a new client and you get a text message. Man, just, just look at it and just put the phone down. You will respond back to them later. You want to knock him out the box. Because I notice, like, if I'm cutting a client... And I get a text message, and I look at my phone. The first thing the client gonna do, he he gonna look at his watch, or he gonna go on his phone and start going through his phone. And that's like that's time consuming on both ends, cause it's like, okay, he looking at you like, oh yeah, but you on your phone, but I'm gonna get on my phone then. You never know, you never know what he got what he gotta do. He's like, okay, well you using my time, I'm gonna use your time. So you don't want that. Then you got the older clients that look at the watch. You could go on your phone looking, laughing. They look at their watch like, yeah. Like, okay, that means, yeah, I got to be somewhere and you on your phone. I'm trying to be in and out. So, yeah, man. That phone, you got to put that down. Stay off of it for a minute. At least till the cut done. Number four. This is what you can do. This is extra. Clean your clippers in front of your client. That's what I do, man. I, I let my client see what I'm doing. Look at the sanitation. I'm keeping everything clean right in front of you. I'm spraying my clippers off. As soon as I pick them up, I'm spraying them. I'm, I'm brushing them off with the um with the little brush. I'm combing everything. I'm, I'm doing every sanitation. I want you to see that my stuff is clean. Everything clean I got over here. You won't get no bumps. Won't nothing happen to you, man. That, that's like one of the main, that's one of the main things, man. People see that and they be like, oh, okay, he clean with it. That goes a long, long way. A long way. Yeah. So now I'm about to um, name some don'ts for y'all. A quick little, just a quick little video, some don'ts. Don't, man. Don't, 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 don't. Be late for your client appointment. When you get a new client, you want to make sure you're on time. That first impression is everything. I mean, everything. You don't want to be late. Like, hold on, I got somebody in front of you. And it's just a new client. This this somebody that hit you up. You know what I'm saying? He, he want he want throw service from you. So you got to impress him. Like I'm saying, we trying to put him in the arsenal in the box. So he to come back. That's the more clientele better. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to be on time. I, I make sure, like, when I'm cutting a new client, I make sure I'm on time. Like, I get him... A time that I know, okay, yeah, I'll be done with my, my other other client right before them. And I give them some leeway. So it'd be like, if my other client, before my new client come and be a little late, 
it's cool because I gave it a little time, a little extra time. So I should be right on time as soon as he come in. Well, when he comes in, he get in a chair next. Cause like, who can, who can complain about being next? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got if a new client come in and you got two people in front of him, it's like, oh, you got two people in front of him. But if a new client come in, you be like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm done with him. You get right in the chair as soon as I'm done. Can't nobody really get mad at that. They're like, okay, cool. I'm next. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. They'll chill out for a minute. But the goal is to be right on time. Like, as soon as they come in, be like, hey, come on. You, you show us over? Yeah, come on. Sit in my chair. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Greet them. Shake their hand. What's up? How you doing, man? Have them sit right in that chair. They love that. Like, all oh, right on time. Man, people love being on time. They, they tell me they, they be like, perfect time when I do it. I'm like, man, you got to be perfect time when you come to new pe- people, man. You want, you want them to come back. Now, older clients, you can you can kind of be late. They don't mind because, you know, you've been doing them for a minute. But the new client, you want to impress them. That's one thing. So don't be late for their appointment. All right, we're moving right along. Another one. Don't take too many breaks. And I've seen a lot of barbers take a lot of breaks, like take a smoke break. Go outside, holler at a female or something. But it's like, man, don't take too many breaks cutting new clients. First impressions, everything, like I said before. You want to cut him up, show him that you about your business. That you, you, about, you, you about handling, taking care of business, getting his paper. So when they, and when they see that, they be like, oh, okay, cool. He can get me in and out. No, they probably got somewhere to go. So you're doing that. They in and out. Oh, yeah, he'll get me in and out. He ain't taking no breaks. He ain't leaving. Like, it's sometimes, like, stuff would be outside happening, going on. And then, like, everybody in the shop would go outside. Ooh, ooh, the, one, the barber saying, we doing nothing there. Go outside and look. Ooh, hey, I, I do. I still be cutting hair. I don't even mind it. Like, okay, I don't, I don't really care about what's going on right now. Right now, you my first priority. You my client. I'm trying to get you in, this, in the arsenal. I'm trying to get you in the bag. So, I'm going to do my best. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to worry about that while I'm cutting your hair. Now, okay, if you're a regular client, yeah, you good. You can run out and do whatever. But you trying to lock him down, so it's like, okay, I'm gonna impress you. I'm gonna impress you. I'm gonna make sure you want to come back to me. So, don't take too many breaks. Smoke breaks. If you take a smoke break, man, at least wash your hands when you come back in the shop. That's what you gotta do. Don't be respectful. Like I don't really do too many breaks or nothing because that's bad for business. Cause the first time client, but you gotta wash your hands when you come back into the smoke break, man. So no client don't want to smell you. Put your clippers on there, on their hand. They smelling that stuff, man. Like I said, they got somewhere to go. They want they want to be in and out. They don't want to deal with none of that. So don't take too many breaks. Don't leave in and out. Another thing. Always don't don't make your client feel uncomfortable. Man, it's 2019. It's a, man, if we got it's a lot of you know gay people going on, man. That's cool. Don't, you don't want them to feel comfortable, man. We got a lot of stuff going on. People doing, changing their bodies up. It, that don't matter. You want your clients to feel comfortable. So don't let them feel uncomfortable. So if you got a, say if you do got a gay client come in or something like that. So don't, man, don't make them feel uncomfortable. Talk to them. Chop it up with them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, how you doing? What's up? What's that going on this weekend? Have a regular conversation. Like I'm saying, these still people. Don't talk about, have people in the shop. Don't talk about nothing. That you no know, pertain to something. No, a preacher might come in. A police officer might come in. You want them to feel comfortable too. So don't talk about nothing stupid. Like so if a pastor come in, don't talk about religion. Don't talk about no you ain't supposed to talk about religion in the barbershop shop anyway. But still don't talk about no uh, I don't believe in this, I don't believe in this. This is a pastor right here. You ain't supposed to know what I'm saying. Just you want him to feel comfortable. You want the police officer a police officer come in. Don't start everybody start looking and shaking and stuff. Nah man, you want, you want him to feel comfortable. You don't want be nervous in front of a police officer. Oh, well, so what? He's the police. He's a regular person. Shit, go ahead, cut his hair. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So make the client feel comfortable, man. That's one thing y'all want to do. Any clients you get, you're going you're gonna to see some weird clients, some crazy clients. It don't matter. Make them feel comfortable. It's the main goal. Talk to them. Once you start talking to people and you get to know them, the real them, that's how relationships build. With you and your clients. That's how that bond builds. That's how that I ain't gonna mess with no other barber bond build. Like once they feel comfortable with you, they ain't gonna go to nobody else. Cause they know you. It's like you know everything about them. Just by conversation with them. 
They like, oh, okay, I see where your head at. I see where, you know what I'm saying? I see where you're going. So make your client feel comfortable. That's one of the main things you want to do out of everything when you're cutting new clients up. And last but not least, number one, my last one for myself, don't get the big head. Just because you're a good barber don't mean he go come back. In other words, if you get this bar, you get this guy in your chair. Don't be. Oh, I can cut this in any old type of. I don't care. I got all this clientele. I'm. I'm good. I'm the best in here. Nah, just because you're the best on in the shop or whatever don't mean this. He gonna come back to you. Being arrogant and stuff like that, man. Nah, that's that's uncool. Cool. Don't be on none of that. Always stay humble. Treat this client like the first client you ever ever had. Cause when you first when you was broke and had no clientele at all. What was you doing? You was being humble, trying to get everything, being respectful and everything. But now that you got your clientele up, you want to change up, you want to be arrogant now. Now you can't be on that, man. That's, that's one thing you can't do. So I was, now I ain't gonna lie, I was feeling myself for a minute. I was good with my clientele. I was saying, I don't want no more clientele. I'm good. I don't need no more clientele. That's crazy talk. Ain't no such thing as too much clientele, man. You want to get everything. You want everybody in that bag. You want to be super, super busy. You want every day to bump like it's Saturday. Every day bump like it's Saturday. Now, that's hard to do, but it's easy to do. If you listen to what I said, these steps, you can have every day bumping like it's Saturday. Believe me. Believe it or not. You can have every day bumping like a Saturday. You know how much money you will make? Man, that's, it's lovely. That is beautiful. So, man, don't keep the, that big head. Nah, that's dead. So, man, I'm going to wrap it up right quick. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. You know, uh, hit me up, man. Tell me what y'all want to see next. What kind of videos you want to you want y'all want to see next? Comment on here. Comment under here. Let me know. Subscribe, comment. I, I need some more ideas. Like I said before, I ran out of ideas, and I need y'all to tell me some ideas. <laughs> I can't keep be going and going and going. It's like, ah, I can't. Ah, I'm running out of ideas. I'm coming up with stuff, but, yeah, I'm still, you know. So, man, y'all, go ahead. Like, subscribe, share. And I appreciate y'all, man. For y'all you watching this video, man, thanks. Appreciate y'all. Real talk. Yeah, let's get it.